What's up guys? My alignment machine is finally here so I'm gonna perform a quick four wheel alignment for you and show you how this bad boy works. So stay tuned to Shine's Funtopia. These are the new turntables that came with the machine. These are the main things that you need in a wheel alignment to get the proper adjustments. These are the cameras. We got the ones that go on the tires and the ones that go on the rims. So I got two sets of cameras. So I'm gonna perform a quick wheel alignment for you guys. Show you a quick way of how this machine works. This cost me $53,000. It's a Hoffman, it's a snap-on distributor that sold it to me. So just waiting for the vehicle now, guys. So this car is for Rebo inspection. We're gonna perform a 60 point check and do a wheel alignment on it. So the vehicle's on the hoist for the four wheel alignment. Let's see if it passes or fail. And I'll show you guys how to do a quick alignment. So I installed one of the targets on the tire. These are the rim based, sorry, the wheel based targets. As you can see how they go, they go on the diameter and the circumference of the tire. So that's how you start off the first procedure of the wheel alignment. So second target installed on the circumference of the tire. This is the second target. As you guys can see. Just like that. Car center on the turntables. Check that out. So as you can see, you have to check tire pressure too. 36 PSI all around so that's the pressure that's needed for these tires to perform a wheel alignment another target installed on the circumference of the tire so right now we're performing the run out on the alignment machine for this minivan over here as you can see, targets are saying stop. That means pivot point. Wow, eh? Precise. See, it says a larger adjustment is expired after the adjustment. Please represent the cameras, vehicles, turntable, make final adjustments. So press OK. So this is the ride height of the vehicle. That's the frame measurement. As you can see, the frame is pretty square. And then the next thing is the caster swing. So it says install brake pedal depressor and ensure the turntable pins have been removed. Loosen rear sip plates. So basically what we do is we take out these plates over here and those plates at the back and then we perform the run out so right now we're measuring the camber and the SAI angle the steering axis inclination I don't think this car is going to pass the wheel alignment, but we can see. Okay. Oh yeah. So we'll just wait until we install the steering and get the proper read out because once you open the doors the targets get blocked yep 
this car failed. The reason it failed is too much excessive camber. As you can see, those are the minimum, preferred, and maximum specifications. This car is a fail, and it failed the inspection. As you guys saw, the minivan failed the wheel alignment on part of the inspection. So at this point, we don't perform the wheel alignment. We find out the reason that it failed, which was a camber that was out on the right front tire. Could be a bent strut, a bent knuckle, or the wheel well could be in. So now, the car must be documented in the system as a failed vehicle. So guys, that's the day in the life at Shines Funtopia at High Tech Auto Repairs, the government certified inspection facility. So that's my new wheel alignment machine. So it's very accurate, it's very precise. So thanks for watching today's episode. Hit that bell button. Please send this link to a friend. Make sure to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment. Peace. Yeah.